everyone. I hope you are continuing to stay safe. This week, two additional people we support tested positive for the coronavirus. One person has recovered and seven people are currently ill. Current cases are at two different residential locations in Joliet and possibly one residential location in New Lenox. The status of the New Lenox site is unclear as the person who tested positive was out of the home a few days prior to their test. Housemates tested negative, but we're still awaiting test results to return for a few staff members. People who have tested positive appear to be in stable condition or recovering. Unfortunately, three more of our staff members also tested positive this week, bringing the total to 18 impacted since the start of the pandemic. Eight have fully recovered, and the others appear to be doing well. Our staff members continue to be as careful as possible, taking precautions to avoid spreading the virus, including wearing masks, practicing proper hygiene, and helping people they support who are able to do so do the same. It is noteworthy that in our most recently impacted home in Joliet, only one of the eight people who live there became infected. The ultimate selfless sacrifice that staff members make in effort to keep people as safe as possible is volunteering to stay in place at a residential location. Since the start of the pandemic, we have had 141 staff members make this sacrifice across 51 homes. Currently, 34 of our residential locations have staff members staying in place. As staff members end their stays, they continue to be honored with socially distanced celebrations thrown by colleagues, family, and friends. Many staff members have made commitments to go back into homes to stay in place following short breaks. We are so grateful for the sacrifices and dedication of all staff members who continue to show up and go above and beyond during this pandemic. We truly do have heroes who work here. This week, state legislators returned to work on the fiscal year 2021 budget. We must continue to advocate for people with disabilities and the staff members who support them to be included in the budget. The state is facing a large loss in revenue because of the pandemic, and it is more important now than ever that disability services are adequately funded and that our heroic staff members are paid wages commensurate with their heroic frontline work. Please see the post accompanying this video for a link to send a message to your state legislators. It takes seconds to send, and it will make a difference to get our voices heard. This week, Curriculum and materials regarding people being connected to natural support networks was distributed to all residential locations. People wrote letters to members of their support networks, like parents, siblings, and friends. People participated in video or phone calls with their family members or friends. And people drew portraits of their family, friends, housemates, or anyone else important to them. Today, people were able to participate in a Zoom bingo session. Also this week, people cooked, played games, tie-dyed shirts, used a virtual reality headset to have new experiences, took time for self-care with spa days, and celebrated birthdays. This week, Trinity's school program distributed caps and gowns to students who will be graduating. They will be honored during a virtual ceremony next week. The school is also implementing remote learning for extended school year, and school staff distributed social stories and visual instruction materials to families about wearing masks to help students start practicing at home. Yesterday, the Department of Human Services Division of Developmental Disabilities announced that community day services or day programs will remain closed through at least June 30th. As a reminder, as people we support are staying safe at home, we continue to need activities for them to take part in to stay engaged. We have created an Amazon wish list of items that can help people stay active in their homes. If you can donate, the list is linked in the post accompanying this video. Yesterday would have been our 27th annual Tom O'Reilly Memorial Golf Classic. 
We greatly missed seeing our friends and supporters at the golf outing this year, but we look forward to the next time we're able to safely be together. We are still holding a $1,000 raffle drawing virtually on June 22nd. Raffle tickets are $5 for one or $20 for five. Sales are ongoing and are available at our website, trinityservices.org golf. If you are able to, please support people with developmental disabilities and mental illness by purchasing a ticket. Thank you for your ongoing support. We will get through this together. Together, we are Trinity Strong. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe, and we'll see you next week.